Parking lots turn late night danger zones. Dozens of drivers taking over them seen on camera, peeling and doing donuts, putting people at risk. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Dina Herrera Garza. Rudy has the night off. Complaints poured into Wesco PD and officers moved in last night and arrested more than a dozen people. Channel 5's Lily Celeste is live where that takedown happened. And Lily, police say their work isn't over just yet. Dina, it's just getting started. The police chief tells me more arrests are pending for those who were involved in last night's takedown right here in this shopping center parking lot. This is just off Westgate and the frontage road near Pike. I want to show you something. Take a look. You can see the marks on the ground, the circles here where they were doing donuts around this light pole. If you go over this way, you can see the marks on the ground where they kind of peeled out there. These marks are all over this parking lot. And another piece of the damage left behind, this looks like a piece of a car, pretty beat up. Now, last night's takeover ended in a sting operation. The police chief tells me it's the first of several in a serious crackdown on these parking lot takeovers. It will impact business like by people not coming in or uh, people not showing up around because they're, they already know that they're here. Every week, Juan Nunez sees the parking lot near where he works taken over by drivers. And it always happens on Thursday, like around 8.30 to like 11. He says others who work in this shopping center have called police before, but the people who cause chaos in the parking lot are never caught. Once they come, everybody scatters, you know, like, like ants. Somebody's walking, you know, family are shopping at Ross or something, and they could they get run over. That's why authorities decided to take a planned approach. This is very aggressive enforcement action that we will be taking to curb this issue. Westlaco Police Chief Dr. Joel Rivera says his officers, DPS, and constable deputies started work on a sting operation several weeks ago. Last night was the result of it. Authorities arrested 14 people and gave out 22 citations. And this isn't the only group authorities are tracking. The police chief says there are multiple car meetup groups in Westlaco and across the valley they're looking into. As part of the crackdown, authorities are also looking at the modifications drivers are making. They modify their cars in such a manner that um, they're no longer street legal, and if they're not street legal, they cannot be on a road where... Earlier this year, Governor Greg Abbott signed legislation allowing law enforcement to confiscate cars involved in street takeovers. Chief Rivera says that's a strategy they'll use in their crackdown. The state law allows us to seize vehicles, and so moving forward, we will have regular enforcement action um, for this kind of uh, offenses. Chief Rivera tells me those arrested could be facing charges including reckless driving, racing on a public highway or roadway, and deadly conduct. Live in Westlaco, Lily Celeste, Channel 5 News at 6.